What's the legacy of Justice Jackson? Well, unfortunately, I think you almost had to have known him or studied him uh, in, in order to find one. But certainly for me, uh, I can see so many things, an honest approach to the law, a high intelligence, a great ability, uh, particularly, well, not just to write, but to speak. That was uh, totally self-taught. Um, a practicality about how people really act and work and go about their business. Uh, a, a wish to apply uh, the law fairly and to guard certain rights virtually with your life. Um, I, I, I mean, I just look at him as, a, as an ideal judge, which does not mean I would have voted the same way he did in every case, but I would always have understood uh, why he did what he did. I, I would have voted differently, for example, in Irvo. Um, but I understood his thinking. I mean, he, for him, it seemed counterintuitive to reverse an otherwise valid conviction on the basis of evidence that was perfectly true and accurate, but had been obtained improperly. That, that was counterintuitive to him. At the same time, it was counterintuitive him to recognize that it was improperly obtained and then do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So he took that middle path of referring it to the Attorney General. Uh, so even though I would have voted differently, I fully understood how he got to where he, he did. Um, and I think that part of the legacy also is, 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 is simply his rise. I mean, when you take uh, a lawyer, a Democrat in Republican territory uh, doing what you do in a town like Jamestown, which I, I would guess uh, that while there are business cases, an awful lot of it was wills, trusts, and estates, and things of that sort, um, and and see his uh, his rise from that through the various steps, Mr. General, Attorney General, Supreme Court Justice Nuremberg. That's amazing. I mean, that that takes more than just a glib tongue. Mm -hmm. uh, that's force of personality and intelligence. Uh, in the best sense. He was not an academic, and I don't mean to put academics down, but he, that was not how, he was not a Frankfurter. Mm -hmm. uh, he uh, was a very practical man. 